So hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic World The Game! Another video on the channel that is not the aisle. I, I apologize. I will get to it, okay? Patience! <laughs> uh, but of course, seeing it is, it is the time of uh, Spoopies. Ghosty Poops. <laughs> But we've got more important things uh, to attend to. Really, um, I was sent this, uh, and it's this is quite scary. Cue the lightning! <laughs> this was sent to me by Vertigo, um, and he this was sent to him by somebody else. Now, this person that sent it to them uh, has shown in the past uh, that they've they've um, they they live in China for a start, and they've gotten things early. Uh, so when, you know, a certain creature's coming out, he, they know about it before anybody else. Uh, so they sent this image. Is it there? Is it there? Might be there. Is it there? Um, and it's quite alarming. Uh, it says, closing soon. Jurassic World, the game, will no longer be available after January 4th, 2021. <laughs> so, um... What, what, what is there to say about this? Uh, as you can see, if we look in this game right now, as of today, we've got snapping at the chamber door. The amphibians are hungry, so we've got another thing. We've got Gryposuchus. Uh, there's a strange creature swimming inside Jurassic World lab tanks. Is it even in this game? Or is it just in Jurassic World Alive? Either way, Gryposuchus is coming. So we've got new dinosaurs. Um, of course, we've got the VIP. Um, and, you, you know, they're talking about their forums, get the latest news. And, of course, all of the VIP benefits that are still coming to the game. So why would they put this update into a version of Jurassic World the game? Why would they do that? That serves no purpose. Um, so my theory is this person lives in China and they've gotten this update and it says January 4th, 2021. It's not even like, you know, June or July 2021, which would have been when Dominion was releasing and every time a Jurassic World movie has released, a games co came out with it. With the, the first one in 2015, it was this exact game. And there was speculation that, you know, or at least I'd speculate that if this was closing around about the time, maybe we are getting an updated version, something like that. But, um, my my good feeling is, and I haven't spoken to Lydia, so I apologize because they're watching this like, oh no, <laughs> he's got it wrong. Okay, I will jump on Lydia's defense in a little bit here. I don't think this game's closing down. I think it'll be another five or so years. I think, anyway, definitely a couple of years till this game is removed, just like Jurassic Park Builder, uh, which is why you shouldn't spend money on these games because <laughs> uh, you eventually your money will disappear and bye-bye, all that money's gone. Anyway, anyway, but that's besides the point. Um, I think the reason why they've got this, January 4, 2021, the game is closing, is because they are in China. Um, now, whether you know anything about the politicalness of all that jazz, China and the West and all this, uh, I feel like they're probably just shutting down uh, support for that game in China. Possibly. That, that um, I, again, like I said, this is no words out the horse's mouth. This is not from Lydia. It's just me speculating, so it's all could be wrong, uh, more than likely. But... It's, it doesn't look like it's doctored, a photo. And this for this image comes from a person who is trusted in the community um, and who knows, you know, who's, like I said, uh, put things out uh, that hasn't been released yet in Jurassic World game. Oh, and thank you, Lydia. I'm just realizing you're not constantly flipping through the different things. That's quite nice of you. So if I click on one, it stays there. Thank you. Um, so from the looks of it, in China, will cease to exist. Uh, now, whether or not, if you have whatever region you live in, uh, let me know. Oh, God, it's what the mic there. I apologize. If you live in, uh, like I said, uh, China or uh, anywhere else in the world that isn't the UK, because I don't know, and you have also received this, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, I feel like I, I want to get, I, I might get in touch with Ludia and just find out what this is about, because it seems legit. Um... If, if it isn't legit, it's for a start, it's from a source that we've trusted in the past. And they've done a very good job of making it look legit. Um, and I like how the guy's got a park that looks exactly the same as mine. That's quite nice. Um, yeah, it's not the same as mine. I was going to say, did they just take my park? And <laughs> no, they haven't. Uh, no, it is kind of the same. Yeah, it's, it's the same sort of position and everything, but it's a different park. So it's not like they've taken mine. I'm 93 anyway. Uh, so, 
it appears that if you live in China, um, you are the, the game might be over uh, coming January. Um, this could be due to new laws that are put in place and stuff like that. I, like I said, I don't know too much about it. All I know is that this has came to my attention and I think it's worth bringing to your guys' attention because I don't think Ludia has put up any uh, statement about it. I think they very quietly just tried to be like, shh, 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 you're not getting it anymore. Don't tell anybody else. <laughs> uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, anyway... That, that, that is the biggest news, I think, that is, we're, we're seeing Jurassic World at least closing in some areas. Now, bearing that in mind, I think this game has been, oh, for whatever reason, having more and more updates and changes more recently than it has in, like, you know, 2016 or 2017, 2018, 2019. I feel like right now, in 2020, this game's had a lot of updates put to it. Um, you know, not the biggest updates, not new arenas and stuff, but like tweakings with the VIP, uh, packs and uh, creatures being added, uh, like we had Brachiosaurus added this year. So I don't think this game's closing in general. I don't think it's closing. I just think that depending on where you are in the world, saying, for example, this place, China, it might be going. And again, that could be due to political reasons. Uh, anyway, so I apologize if anybody has enjoyed this game and it, it's it's ending for you guys. Uh, like I said, if you know anything more, do put it in the comments down below. I will, of course, send a message to Ludia just seeing if uh, I can maybe coax some sort of response out of them, which we'll address in the next video. Um, but yeah, anyway, we got Griper Sutures who's coming. That's quite cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We got Griper Sutures. Um, and we've got Omega 09 returning. Oh, wait, it won't be Omega. It'll be the Halloween one. Hold on. Now, I, I deliberately... Sorry, I haven't even put any wax in my hair. <gasps> I'm, oh, sorry, I'm just stayed for you guys. <laughs> There we go, we look a little bit more presentable now, don't we? Yes. <laughs> okay, so, we're gonna go over here. Uh, now, what is it called? Because I opened all of my statues. Every statue that I've had, I've managed to open. Uh, because I wanted to test something out. Ooh, we've got a new bit of park. Oh, fantastic. Can we, can we just, oh, we can destroy another one. Oh, great, deforestation. That's what this world needs more of. <laughs> so, it's this thing. Alpha 06. Look at look at all these statues, man. So we got Alpha 06 who's gonna be coming. Because I was like, Omega 09 again? Uh, I guess so. But no, of course it's Halloween, isn't it? So uh, we're gonna be getting uh, Alpha. Now, as you also will notice, I have 12,500 uh, books. Um, also, Lydia is doing a very sneaky thing here. I mean, it's not sneaky. Um, I think, if anything, it's more of what we should be having. Uh, so in your VIP, or maybe at least in my VIP mystery pack, you've got a 50% chance of get, getting guaranteed books. And then every card after that, except for the final one, which is of course a dinosaur, you have a chance of getting books. Now, I opened this the other day, 30, 30, 30. I was like 100 books almost instantly. It was really good. Uh, you can also buy them. Uh, so for two pound, you can get almost, you know, it's very unlikely. Let's say for two quid, you get 100 books. So let's have a look at Fidelity, right? So for two quid, you might as well just buy it outright if you're gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, you won't get a dinosaur, but you're definitely guaranteed books this way. But I mean, if you're going to be wanting books, uh, Fidelity is probably the best way. I think you get a hundred or books a day, isn't it? How much do you get a day? Um, 800 now, 400 now, uh, 50 books a day, 80 books a day for the premium, or you can do the three months for 200 bucks a day for three months so you know if it's 50 quid right 300 bucks a day times by three months that's thousands of books right so uh and that's 50 quid so for the equivalent of that you know what, what five days gets you a thousand bucks right at uh, times 10 days gets you 2,000, three days gets you, sorry, 15 days gets you 3,000. So you, instead of buying books like this way, you're probably better off doing it this one. Um, and if you're, you know, if you're already a VIP, collect, <laughs> what is it? Collectible only while subscribed. So is this like, that looks like a VIP. So you have to have VIP and, um, what do you call it? Fidelity. I, I, I just love diving into this a little bit. So $49.99, uh, $53, gives you 800 bucks now. 
and an extra 50 bucks a day. Ah, so within four days, you've got an extra day, basically, if you've just done the regular subscription. Uh, 80 bucks a day, 400 now for one month, and that's 15 quid. 15 quid, 10, 20, you know, you're looking at, what is it, 1,600 for 15 quid? 15 quid gets you... Yeah, either way. Sorry, I just got completely distracted there. But they are doing something good, I think, anyway, with that. That it's, you know, you, there's no point now buying packs. There's no point now buying books. The best way to get books and dinosaurs in this game is to do VIP. And I think the reason why Ludio are deciding that is because it's a sustainable income. It's, you know, it's like having a job <laughs> for them. It's like, you know, they, they could go through spikes of having, oh, well, we got loads of money that day because we did an Indominus pack, but we can't do that all the time. So for that one time they do Indominus and then the rest of the year, it might be low. So it's like, well, if we just have VIP, then it's better. You know? Speaking from a business perspective, but anyway, we've got something really, really good. Uh, I got another building and it's the best building. Saving me thousands, thousands of friggin' books because this thing instantly hatches a dinosaur. No matter what it is, it instantly hatches it. And you can get up to three, so you can do it three times. And in the end, that's gonna save you a lot. Again, a reason why I don't think this game is closing down in January, because why would they put this in if they were, you know, or maybe that was a false, you know, launch of an advert or something that they put in or an update that they maybe it was going to end at some point. Maybe they thought that this game was only going to last so long. Um, so, we are very, very close to doing our Clash of the Titans. We need two more events to complete, and then we can do Clash of the Titans. Now, Clash of the Titans is quite hard, <laughs> so we need to make sure that we've got dinosaurs ready. Um, does this count? I mean, we need level 24 anyway. So, we do have this. This is good, because it's all glacier creatures, so I don't really need to worry about what I'm putting into that one, uh, because I'm pretty sure Clash of Titans will be a tough one. Uh, so we've got the Rarity Rumble, which is four battles, and it is, oh my god, okay, well, well you know, the highest is 3,000 attack, or you could do the Stockholders, which is the same. Now, the Stockholders is probably better, because there's only three battles you have to do, and the Rarity Rumble's four. So I think what we should do is the stockholders visit. Now we're gonna have to use our VIP buildings here because I'm gonna have to, you know, I could use my uh, Pachygallosaurus, which takes, what, a week to come back, but I can instantly get that back. So that's gonna save me a lot of bucks. I wouldn't really even spend it on that anyway. Uh, so what we want here is a super good team. Um, now they're all gonna have half attack. Udon's only gonna do 1,500 and odd. Uh, Pachygallosaurus is only gonna do 1,455, um, so as long as we can survive two hits, um, no, it won't even do that much, will it? It'll do like 900 and odd attack. So the highest attack we've got coming through to us is a Gorgosuchus, which is probably going to do like 5,000 damage. So we need someone with over 5,000 health. Unfortunately, the only thing we have is another Gorgosuchus. Uh, so I'm tempted here is to put in Protoragrinus, which is, you know, it's, it's, if it, it has a chance of getting a kill because it does get 50% extra attack. So it's going to do what? 1,200 attack, which is pretty decent. Um, but it can also survive one hit. Uh, and then I'm thinking of Gorgosuchus or Ostabasaurus. I'm thinking if I put in Ostabasaurus, I need to put in something else that's good. If I put in Gorgosuchus, I can put something that's not as good. So I'm going to put in these two. They're round about the same. The, the health makes no difference because they both die in two hits. Uh, pretty much. A Yudong kills Ostoposaurus in two hits. Uh, Gorgosuchus kills Ostoposaurus in two hits. Pachygalosaurus needs to take three hits, so that's good. So, let's do this! Let's see how we do! Right, so, I don't care. I'm not gonna die by Pachygalosaurus. Worst case scenario, he switches out to Gorgosuchus. And even then, doesn't make much of a difference. And he didn't! So what's really good about this is I can go for two block and one reserve, making sure that we survive. Remember, Protodrinus, or whatever it's called, is not our MVP. It doesn't matter what it does. Uh, this is actually really good. Um, so now I'm just going to go for four reserve. I could have went for three block and one reserve, um, but I kind of want to die and... Ooh! 
Well, okay. Right, so yeah, this is perfect, because this way, he'll have to go for five, right? Because he's got one reserve. No, he can't even kill us! So best case scenario, he goes for four attack. He goes for four attack. Oh my god, that's perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six! Whoa, that's a lot! That's a lot of uh, lot of attacks that it takes to kill Gorgasuchus there. Uh, so one, two, three Udon's gonna have to go for. Um, because I might have uh, two block. We play this game, we're veterans at this point. We know what we're doing. Uh, so, uh, also, you'll notice that the audio is still not the best, but we're getting there. That's the important part. I'm slowly tweaking it to the point where it'll be like normal. Uh, and we can also go... Like that. <laughs> so, he's got one block. One, two, three. Factor in that one block. And he did go for the one block. He's out! There he goes! You don't take it out! See, it's brilliant. I love this mixer. <laughs> for a couple of videos, I have to sacrifice audio quality for ammo. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh, so 7,000 damage is still a lot, though. Still a lot. Um, hmm. Four. So he's got two block. He's got two block. Um, oh. You know, I'm going to have to go for four. I'm going to have to go for four here. Oh, wait, no. Damn it. I'm an idiot. Oh, I was going to say, please tell me I haven't thrown this. I can't afford to lose a game when I'm using these creatures. There we go. That'll do. I don't know how much damage that is. Like 10,000? 17,000. Almost 18,000. Quite a lot. There we go. That's the first of three battles. And we did it. Uh, also, I've got something in here that needs hatching. Uh, oh, yes. The Sopranosaurus. So it's 700. We'll put in, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably not gonna check this until I go to bed. So probably something like Sarcastodon. This is the tricky part, because it does ask you to click it. I think that's, I mean, it's, oh, wait, it's 50? Activate regular incubator or instant hatch incubator for fi Oh, <gasps> so the instant hatch costs you anyway? I did not realize this. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it does save instead of, you know, 3,000 bucks or something ridiculous or 1,000, 2,000. Uh, I'll just do a regular. There you go. Nine hours. Yeah, that's a roundabout right. Okay, let's see what we've got in the trade harbor. Uh, yes. Are you kidding me? Heck yeah. There we go. That's, that's awesome. That was, a, that was a really good trade. Uh, I mean, really, you want to look out for this. So, Stego Sofa Books. I'm sorry, Mr. Stego. I do not need DNA. Uh, and not going to trade that. And I'm definitely not going to trade that. So that's not too bad. Is there anything else we haven't collected here? No, okay. Right, so we may as well just collect our coin, eh? And bring us back to nine, 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 nine. So we basically just got all of the food in the world. <laughs> 23 minutes, that was awesome. Uh, not that I really spend the food on anything. Um, so we'll go back. So round two. Um, ooh. Now, even though there are two flyers, there's no point putting a herbivore in. Uh, because that Interrupted Gen 2 is going to get 50% uh, extra attack, as well as nerfing our herbivores. So that's going to bring his attack to 4, 5,000 damage, which is going to kill even Segna Suchus in one. It'll kill a Parasaur in two, but a Parasaur. <laughs> so here we're going to just select carnivores. I think this is the safest thing we can do. Um, every one of them uh, can be killed in two hits by an Interrupter. Um, Except for Interrupted Gen 2, which is three hits. So, even though it looks scary, putting in these is scary. Because that Metro Photon, the first one, can just kill me. Ooh, it can just kill me. If I had a little bit more health, I'd be able to survive that. Oh, that's frustrating. If it was level 37 like the other one, I would be fine, but it's not. It's just got, it's got an extra 60 attack on my health, meaning it'll kill me in one hit. So no matter what I do first round, it's gonna kill me. So that would have been bad. I would have been down an Interruptor, and I mean, yes, I could have went for two attacks and then one block, uh, and then possibly survived? Oh, hold on. Okay, so this is how this battle's gonna go. I go for one reserve. Metrophodon goes for two attack. Ki kills me. Oh, no, he'll go for one. Oh, yeah. No, no, he'll go for two, because he thinks he can kill me in two, in one. I'll have one block. So, I die to Met Metrophodon. My other inter interrupter comes in. I go for two attack, one block. Making sure that when his interrupter gen 2 comes in, he can't kill me. I go for three reserves, and then no matter what, I... Ooh, it's risky. 
It's really risky, but let's do it. Oh, it's a risky play. So he's going for one reserve. He's going to go for two attack. I mean, if only on 60 less attack. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. We're on a automatic here. This is what we're doing. We're going to play it automatically almost. So here. Now, what's the play here? Do we go for two? So he's dead. Now, do we go for one reserve and risk it? Or do we go for one block? I think we go for one block. Because if I lose two interruptors now and I'm down to one left, I I can't do it because everything's too... Like, if one or two, if two hits goes through from anybody, they're dead. Even me. So I can't... Oh... Okay, so he he could have four. So I could I could block for three here and I'm safe. Doesn't matter. Only he's only got three anyway. I like how they forgot to the color into Raptor Gen 2's mouth. It's just white. <laughs> oh! That couldn't have went any better. One, two, three kills him, right? Yes. One reserve. <gasps> oh, look at that. A level 10 Indoraptor can take on a level 40 Indoraptor Gen 2. You don't need anything higher than a level 10 Indoraptor in this game. You honestly don't. It's just a waste otherwise. Okay. I think he, he went for three there. He could have two block. Even if he has two block, I kill him. If he has three block, I kill him. So I think we're good. That was... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is scary. I like it, though. I like it. I do. Okay, so there we go. There's 50. And the final one is... So we're going to do this one. We're going to do the Glacier one. And then we're going to take on Clash of the Titans. We're going to do all here because I do not have that Eucola de Seret. I don't have that one. So very easy. Very easy choice. All carnivores. R rinse and repeat what we just did, except for, you know, we've run out of Indoraptors. We could buy one back for, I don't know what it is, 203, well, 300 bucks. We do have an instant recovery, but don't really want to use that. We want to save that for the stockholders because it's like five battles and we might have to use really high level creatures. Uh, so, you know what? I think... Around right about the level's kind of okay. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Second suit, just we do not worry about. It's basically dead in one hit. Uh, Interrupted Gen 2, same as before. Pachycalosaurus, however, is going to take four hits. We've got a three hit on Interrupted Gen 2, a four hit on Pachycalosaurus, and a two hit on Segno, uh, as well as it being nerfed. Even though it does have 4,000 attack, it's halved. So it's only 2,251. So it's not too bad. See, look, this game, educational, helps you learn math. <laughs> What's half of 4,502? That's right, kids, 2,251. <laughs> right, let's go. Who said this isn't educational? <laughs> uh, right, so... I mean, we have to go for one block here. Unlike last time, he can't kill us guaranteed in one hit. So we might as well just go for one block. Hoping, fingers crossed, he goes for two. He doesn't, uh, so we could have three next turn. Again, he can't kill us because he has to go for two, which he does have three. So best case scenario, he kind of goes for three. No, okay. Okay, now this turn, he can kill us no matter what. Uh, he could have like two reserves. He doesn't. Uh, did he have an extra? Yeah, so we could have went for three block, but it was risky. And if he had killed us, it would... And so that's really good. So he went for the max amount of tax. We didn't waste anything on blocks. And we got seven this turn. So one, two, three. Oh, who needs to kill him? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let's block. Now, it's Paki Galasaurus that's coming in. Two, let's say 2,000, 4,000. So it can't kill us in two hits, right? So we can go for two block and one reserve, meaning that we're safe. We've got a reserve. We've also guaranteed a kill and we've survived. Yeah. Only problem with Pachycalosaurus is it has a lot of health. I mean, a lot of health. Second the sutures, I'm not really worried about here. Uh, so it's risky. I'm glad I did that because he went for three block. He does have one. I could have went for more blocks. Um, one, two, three. He's got what he, he has killed. Oh, he didn't kill us. Oh my God, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna, okay. One, two, three, four, five kills. I'm factoring that one, two reserves. It take, only takes two to kill Segna Sutures. So it doesn't even matter if Segna Sutures blocks for four with one. Oh, was that the last one? Yes, I think it was the last one. We did it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it only a spin wheel as well? So we're not even guaranteed anything. Oh, okay. I think that's the case. Anyway, so we're gonna go for six. It was 26,000 damage, I think. 26,528. Boom! Done and done.
Oh, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a code 19. Or somebody's got the road. You know what? 850? I'll take it. And it doubles anyway, doesn't it? Oh, ho, ho, 1,700. Taking us to 100,000. Now, we could spend 950 bucks to possibly get 2,000 VIP points. But in my books, that's not a good trade-off. So we still have one more to do. We're not going to do that one. We are going to do the VIP. Good thing with the VIPs is they're not that tough. Um, which I'm glad because every other battle that's in Jurassic World, the game is super tough. Ooh. Also, I'm working on a Halloween special for you guys, so that should be fun. Or at least there should be probably two videos of a Halloween special uh, content on the channel. Uh, I hate horror games, so I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> also taking time to edit it as well, um, just to make sure it's fun. For the first video, we don't know what the flip we're doing, so I'm sure loads of people are going to find it infuriating. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want it. I didn't want to do the thing. I didn't want to make it scary. Okay. Here we go. And boom! Oh, it was another one. My bad. I thought I had got it with one. But hey-ho, there we go. That's the way cookie crumbles. All right. So we're not going to collect that just yet. We're going to now go into the VIP exclusive, which is only for uh, battles. But again, like I said, look at this with 400, 200, 300. When we've got things with uh, over a thousand attack. So it's it's an even even thing. Uh, what's the weakest? The weakest is Savannah. So we may as well use a cavern, meaning that even when it does get the advantage, it's not much. Because remember, each you know number that's higher, it doubles basically. It gets 1.5 extra. So the higher the number, the more bonus it gets. The lower the number, the less bonus it gets. So in this case, uh, what can take us out? Uh, we only need two things. We've got Cavern. What's what's Cavern weak to? Savannah. What's Savannah weak to? Planes. So we do Cavern, Planes, Cavern. And that way, it's better than having three. Uh, so we'll do Cavern, and then we'll put in some... That's okay. Arctodus is good. And then we'll put another Cavern. And to be fair, 479. It is a hybrid. That's very good. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Everyone give Panthocus a round of applause. Round of applause. Don't know why, I just have that sound effect, so I was like, hell, let's use it. <laughs> and actually, we kill him in one ear, which is great. And something I didn't even factor in is that even when we do kill it, it um, it's not even our weakness that comes up, so it may even switch and waste one. But he doesn't. So we can go for uh, two hits. We didn't even need, didn't even need that hybrid. Didn't even need it, wow. Uh, and yeah, okay, it was just... Right, I overestimate uh, how deadly this team was and it's not deadly at all. Uh, and I may as well just go for three. It's not gonna kill him, but it's, <laughs> it's done a lot of damage. We were 1,500 attack he can do with a max. Um, yeah, may as well just go for four now. There you go! Beautiful! Wallop! Okay, oh! Right, well that's one out of four. Again, super easy. Uh, this one's even better. Because now it's, again, more caverns. Uh, so... Ooh, ooh, I'm kind of tempted for like a Hyenodon. No. I can't kill it in one hit. No, okay, so it doesn't make a difference. We need to save a cavern just in case we need a cavern. So we may as well just use all the caverns we have. That'll do. I think that's good enough. Uh, should I go for one hit? What's his attack? Yeah, we might as well, you know what? We kill him in two hits no matter what. We may as well just do one of the hits now, right? Yeah, I'd say so. That's fine. Uh, we don't lose anything. If anything, he's probably going to swap and lose a turn, uh, which he does do. 600 and he, even if he does attack which he does do we kill this thing in two hits so we're just on an all-out attack There's a snake attack with its tail that's right kids <laughs> that's it. We, it okay i've overestimated this as well a titana boa is just super strong so he's got one block uh we may as well go for three uh he didn't go for the block and ah! Ah! Diprotodon, which dies in one hit, which I completely forgot about. <laughs> Two, four. So what's that? He could kill me if he went for four. Could he? Oh, 
Oh, it would have been close. It would have been close. And we'll finish him off with one quick Viper Strike. Even though Titanobo was a constrictor. But hey ho, we live in the world of Jurassic, where nothing makes sense. <laughs> Right, two more battles. Oh, wait, like I said, it just needed more caverns. <laughs> cavern, cavern, cavern. Uh, do we even have anything that's good that is a cavern? Uh, at this point, we may as well just throw in a Smithosaurus. Makes no difference. Uh, well, again, like I said, we'll just go for one hit because we kill them in two no matter what. So we may as well just go for one. I think we kill all of them in two because I don't think anything has more than 3,000 health here. The marsupial lion, I could be wrong. Uh, Synthesaurus, I'll be very surprised if it has more than 3,000 health. No, I didn't think so. Yeah. So, I don't even think it's going to switch. I think Marsupial Lion might be the best in terms of attack out of all of them. Oh, it is. It, it really is. Okay, so I'm just going to go for four reserves here. Um, worst case scenario, I get killed, but then I'll have, you know, eight reserves. Uh, 1,200. He can't kill me if he goes for four. He's going to try it. Whoa! <laughs> almost, almost. Uh, one, two, and then... I mean, that's it. That's, that's, that, that's it done. Oh, we've got light! Are you messing with my green screen? Hopefully not. <laughs> I don't like the close-up. I like natural light. We have these two blaring lights, but I do like some natural light. Oh, it did kill me! <gasps> Comes in Erm Ethereum! The sloth will have you. You know what? I'm gonna see what his, you know, eight attack is, because I don't even remember what it is. Oh, it goes for it! Is it just a slash? Oh, it's a claw earthquake. Takes it out. Oh, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So one more battle and then we got the stakeholders. So, and luckily, we just need planes for this one. And, uh, wait, is the stakeholders like, do you think it'll be Jurassic? I hope it's Jurassic. Otherwise, I can't do it. Um, you know, I don't even think we need something that's that good. I think these guys... Look at that. I need to feed the Smithosaurus to get level 10. It'll be well better with that. Charmy, and it'll be mint. Uh, at this point, I probably should have went for one attack because I can kill it in two. But, you know, live and learn. Live and learn. Uh, it, however, does try its damnedest to kill us. Uh, that's okay. I think Elasmatherium might have more attack than the hybrid. Let's have a look. So, 400. What does the hybrid have? Yeah, it's around about the same. It's around about the same. Meaning that I don't think it can kill me in two hits. It'll be close. Yeah, I'd say it's close. It's almost got me. Yeah, it's not close. <laughs> 400 health. Okay, so one, two, and we've pretty much won. <laughs> oh, it's satisfying. It's really satisfying. Go on, speed up. We don't have time for this. People have got busy days. Yes, you on the toilet. Hurry up. Finish. <laughs> watching you. I bet there's got to be there's at least one person on the toilet who's watching that. <laughs> oh, I've done it before. I've done it before and I've called people out. It's great. Love it. Love reading those comments. And there you go. A silver rewards. No books, unfortunately. But hey-ho. We get VIP points. We get a dinosaur. And we got DNA. So, could be a lot worse. Better than a kick in the teeth. And <gasps> we've unlocked it. I'll have to do the sound effect. There you go. Right, so what have we got here then? Oh, it's... Oh, well, all right then. It looks like it's going to have to be a full carnivore team. And luckily, I have a plethora. <gasps> we got another interrupt. Look at that. So at level one, 1,700 attack. As a po it could have an extra, basically, 1,000 attack. And almost 2,000 health. Should we feed Indoraptor? Let's feed Indoraptor. That'd be well better. Why, why do we have a level one Indoraptor? Yes, there you go. Beautiful, 5,103 health. And we get to see the eating animation again, which is also good. Look at it chewing on that fleshy man of war. Doesn't even eat it. Just takes a chunk off and throws it. I remember Indoraptor being that big. It's a huge dinosaur. Okay, oh, do we want to? No, I want to save. I'll claim these ones, but I want to claim all the super DNA at the same time because that's the satisfying power. I love doing that. Wait till the end of the video for that. Uh, and there you go, some food back. So we're <laughs> pretty much there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five battles. Um, let's go for carnivores. And there is the other Indoraptor. Uh, so we'll definitely use you. 
And then we'll use... I mean, Woohoo Saurus is basically out of it. Uh, Pterodostro is killed in one hit by an Indoraptor, so maybe we'll not use him first. Uh, I'd say Tanicolagrius, Tanicolagrius, whatever you want to call it. And Baryonyx with Indoraptor in the middle. Uh, and there we go. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> oh, he goes for two, though. Ooh. And uh, this is going to line me up perfectly because I can go for three. Definitely kill him, I think. Oh, it was close. It was close. And Pterodostro is going to go for two. Uh, I can go for one attack with the Indoraptor. And then I'd say I'm safe just to go for reserves because we're halving Woohoo Saurus's attack, which is only 700. So I go for one attack and then two reserves. Pretty much good. Bam! No! Pterodostro dies, the Baleen Pterosaur. Okay. And that's it. One battle out of five done. Not too bad. We did have to use a lot of our good creatures, though. Um, but we have so many carnivores. It's not a problem. We'll go for six. Come on, come on. I want to see what the prizes are for this card pack. Because it's like winning a tournament. So they're going to be like thousands of bucks. I want to check. Hold on. I want to check. I want to check. What are we going to get? Uh, oh, five. We got 50% of getting 500 bucks. And then another 50% for 500 bucks. And then a 25%. So we could get 1,500 bucks here. If luck's with us. We're probably guaranteed at least one, right? So 500 bucks in this. This is worth it. Okay, so this... Hmm. I think this is... This calls for Segna Sutures. I think this calls for Segna Sutures. I think what we're going to do here... Segna Sutures is going to be our MVP. Or even Mono Stegatops. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go for Pritrodon. Then I'm going to go for Segna Sutures. Because if we need it, we can always get it back for free. Which is <laughs> so good. Um, and then... I'd say another Carnivore. Another Carnivore is good. Uh, Indominus level 30. We should get level 40 Indominus. But then I need a level... We never got a level 40 Pritrodon, right? We need to get that before we get another Indominus. So... I don't think you can kill me in two hits. I don't think you can. 2,400. 3,400. Well, I can kill eight in two hits, though. Separately. So I'm going to do that. I don't think it can. It's close. If he does go for two, it's very close. And uh, this, if he attacks now, it does even less. Okay, so the plan is working. Segna Suchus is going to be MVP here. I think in one hit it can kill it. Oh, it's gonna do it! It's gonna do it! It's a one hit kill it! 4,666 attack, man! Oh, it's ridiculous. Uh, and there we go, we've won. So pretty much won. Press the suit just out, so Indominus Rex is clean to sweep. Uh, second of the suit just nullifies Pterodactylus' attack. And uh, that's it, yeah. As soon as we got rid of that press of sutures, it was a case of just trying to wiggle their team, like jigger it so we could, we could get that uh, win. Uh, it doesn't even matter what I do here. 6,929,000 in like three hits. And a Patasaur, a poor Apatosaur, um, might be able to kill me if it goes for four. Uh, it doesn't. So let's see how much damage we can do. It might block. But at seven attack, it does 71,000 damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't get to do that. Uh, but it does do 55,000 damage. And there you have it. Easy one. So that's two out of five. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, you're just giving me at this. You know what? I'm just going to use, I'm going to use an interrupt. <laughs> Sod it. Actually, I actually tell you what, let's use a Guadlong and then an Indoraptor. Um, I'm tempted to do another Guadlong. Should we do another Guadlong? Should we do it? I think we should do another Guadlong. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we can lose this. Look at that team against this team. We've done it. We've, this is easy. Easy, man. Oh, when you see them all the same. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, one hit, two reserves, because a Patasaurus could do nothing. We're on 10%. We were on 34% when I started this video, guys. Oh, my God. I forgot to mention. That was one of the things I was going to say. Um... Uh, Okay, yeah, there's nothing you can do. He goes for one blessing. Uh, so he's got one block. We kill him in two, so we have to go for three. And then I may as well block for two. Uh, I might as well. Oh, and he did go for it. So we're only being hit by two attack, which is only 788. <laughs> oh. 
I'd love to try and get Alumbia down to a health where maybe Guanlong could kill it. But even one hit from Interruptor kills it, so there's no chance. There's no chance. I might have been able to calculate it where if one hit left it with a tiny bit of health. And then I could just go for reserves until it died and then Guanlong went for it. That would have been amazing. Uh, okay, so we've got two battles and we're now we're at a time constraint. Oh, it's the same battle over again. Oh, great. Um, what was it? I mean, really, you want a herb? No, you don't want a herb. You want a flyer. All right, then. Or do you want a flyer? You want amphibians. That's what you want. You want more amphibians. Uh, so, with that in mind, uh, one, two, three. Well, no, we'll put in Gorgosuchus there. Uh, and then I'll put in, put in Mastodonosaurus. I'll keep Diplosuchus level 30 alive just in case I need it for another event or something. Uh... Do I bother going for a block here? Because I think he might be able to kill me. Three thousand two hundred plus. That yeah, he can kill me. So I have to go for a block here. You can you can kill me in two hits. Big brain. Big brain. I mean, sorry. Big brain. <laughs> okay, so now we just go for loads of reserves. Got to look. The light's coming. The light's shining. There's a point in the day when it just hits me right in the eyes. Okay, so one for two. Okay, so it's gone all out, basically, I think. So we can go for two attacks and then three reserves, because sod it. There's nothing that Tani Caligris can do. And even if it does swap into the woohoo, uh, it makes no difference. Yep, and it does swap into the woohoo. And does the woohoo attack? Oh, it does. It attacks for one. Well, it, you know what? It, it did its best. It tried its darndest. Uh, one, two, three. And factor in that one, and then I might as well just go for four reserves. It makes no difference. We're gonna win, whether it's Gorgosuchus or Mastodonosaurus. Um, and even then, it, it's always gonna be Gorgosuchus. Oh, why didn't you just go all out? You could have done so much more. And there we go, an eight attack. Are we gonna get an eight off? What does an eight do? 70,000. Although we're not gonna get that. It's probably gonna be like 55 or something, a bit like second of just Yes, it is, 54. And the final battle! Come on, I wanna open this pack. Battery stay, you can do it. And uh, carnivores again. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's do, ooh, look, freebies. Let's do a whole team of Grand Longs. <laughs> no, we'll just do this. I mean, we could've went for amphibians, but when it's, when it's a team like this, I've got so many carnivores, it makes no difference. Look at that, a Pinosaur killed something! Never seen that before. Right, so we go for two attacks. What can Acrocanthosaurus do? We can do two attacks, so two attacks, one reserve. So it makes no difference. I think because this is a little bit harder, a little bit more difficult, I might switch in a Guanlong and then just go for loads of reserves. Just to make sure it survives here. I mean, we almost kill it in one hit. Oh, saying that. Uh, he's gonna have three. So, one, two. And then I have to go for two block. I have to. I have to go for two block. Yeah. It's a little bit weaker this next one, but not by much. Like the 30 attack? Makes no difference. Um, oh, he didn't go for it. Okay, so he's got, he's got two block, um, but we kill him in two hits. So we've got four. So there you go. And that was it. What a grand finale. Two Indoraptors, both paired with one longs easily wipe the floor with that competition. I like this one. Clash of Titans is good. Okay, so here we go. Like we won a tournament because I don't think I've ever unlocked this creature. And did we win any bucks? Oh, we got the Holy Grail! <laughs> we did it! 1,500 bucks! Whoa! Damn! How much real money is that if you wanted to buy those outright? As well as like 2,600 of that. As well as unlocking it because I didn't have this unlocked. So I now own one. It's another less creature that I didn't miss out on. So we're on 1,500 bucks. It's like, it's 15 pounds, <laughs> basically. Jeez. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, guys, uh, oh, before we go, yes, we need to do this. <gasps> mm, 50, 60, 70, 74 of both Raptor and Dimetrodon DNA. That's a lot. Ooh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. I kind of do want to get Indoraptor Gen 2, but at the same time, we could buy like two extra Indoraptors. Two screw Indoraptor Gen 2. <laughs> anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a like and until next time, hopefully the game doesn't shut down. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.